We're going to do example problem uh, 63 on page 77, part of chapter 4, motion in space. And the problem reads, an SUV accidentally drove off a cliff with a horizontal velocity of 40 meters per second. Given that it took five seconds for the SUV to hit the ground, how far vertically and horizontally from the top of the cliff did the SUV land? Well, that's kind of a morbid question. Uh, I hope that person was able to jump out for they accidentally drove off a cliff. Um, so find, they're asking us to find uh, how far from vertically from the ground and from the top of the cliff the SUV land. They're asking for the vertical displacement and the horizontal displacement. Given its initial velocity in the x direction, was 40 meters per second, because it's driving off this cliff, right? You draw a picture, it's helpful. And it's going to travel like that, and then it hits over here. Yeah. So its initial velocity in the y direction is zero meters per second. We know the acceleration in the x direction is zero, acceleration in the y direction. If we say that this is positive x, let's say down is positive y, the acceleration y direction is a positive g. This is the given and the knowns. In the equations, well, we're, oh, we're also given time. Sorry. The time is five seconds, I believe. Five seconds. But this is only half of the parabola, right? So this would be that half time. And so that's going to be half of this. You just take away that two. So it's half of the parabola. So now the equations that are going to be useful are, well, the time for half the parabola is equal to half of that total time. So the initial y divided by G, well, that doesn't really help us, right? Because V initial Y is, is zero. What about so I think we're going to have to use this equation instead. Because these equations are derived uh, under the assumption that the object is starting here, right? Where here we have the object starting from the top. So these equations don't really hold true um, starting from the top and going down. So we might have to derive some new equations, but that's okay. So using this equation, acceleration is equal to V final, so in the y direction, V final y minus V initial y over t. A y is equal to g, so g is equal to uh, V final y minus V initial y over t. So that could be a useful equation. Because um, we can use this equation to find v final y, right? Because v initial y is equal to zero, so v final y is equal to g times t. And once we know v final y, So we can do that right now. Equals 40 meters per second times 5 seconds. You get 200 meters. 
That's how far it lands this way. How high was it? How high was it? Uh, well, we're going to have to use that equation that y, our displacement is equal to v y average times t, right? Where our vertical displacement y is equal to the initial y plus the final y over 2 times t. Our v initial y is 0. We found v final y is g times t. So if we plug this in for there, from y is equal to g times t over 2 times t, which y is equal to g t squared over 2. All right, so here we're going to combine two equations, this equation, the definition of acceleration, and this equation that our displacement is equal to our average velocity times time. And it's 9.8 meters per second squared over 2 times 5 seconds squared. So it's roughly going to be 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 10, roughly 250, 250 divided by 2, 125, around 125 meters, which seems reasonable. So 25 times 9.8 divided by 2 is 122.5. So that's how high it was. Those both seems like seem like reasonable numbers, right? 122.5 meters above the the uh, the ground we're hit is 200 meters away horizontally. All right, so we had to pull in a couple of equations that, um, that I didn't have written up there, um, mainly just this one, right? that uh, our displacement is equal to our average velocity times time. So these equations, I just want to point out that these are uh, relative to the beginning part of the parabola, right? From here, not from here. From here, we're going to derive different equations because our initial velocity in the y direction is equal to zero. Our final velocity is not zero, so these don't really work if you're starting from here.